In this video I'm going to show you how you can obtain the information about partial charges by using software Avogadro or getting the database from the Gromac software. For instance, on Avogadro you can draw a molecule from scratch and you can obtain information about partial charges only for force fields which were implemented in the software. So let's start drawing. We can draw the molecule of propane. As you see, it's drawn very simple. Then we save the file as. How we're gonna save it? I suggest that we save it as Molecule format because Molecule format provides information about charges while other formats might not provide it at all. So we save it. Then we go to extensions and we go to molecular mechanics and let's say that. We want to optimize molecule for a certain force field set up the force field. As you see, there are several kinds of force fields implemented in Avogadro. For instance, I would like to have general amber force field, which is GAF. So I can optimize the molecule. I can, let's say, select the number of steps and tolerance. So I can optimize it directly. And so then I press and optimize the molecule. As you see, it increased the bones when it's needed and some other bones may be decreased. So We'll save this information. Then we want to see how we're going to find the partial charges in our file which we saved. So we go to the folder and we open the file. As you can see, partial charges are in this column, in the last column. These are coordinates. And uh, here is information about bones be between different atoms in a molecule. It's very simple format and very simple and convenient way to get the partial charges which you need for small molecules. However, as I said, uh, the disadvantage of this method is that basically uh, you can get only for those force fields which are implemented in the software. Then let's say that you want to get information from a particular force field about the molecule and uh, so for this thing for this reason you can download the Gromac software and there in the folder top you find all those force fields so for instance you want to open the sharp force field in a folder and then you want to see for example you want to see charges for a certain lipid so here a lipid named uh, with their abbreviations because Gromac software accept only four letter abbreviation in the molecular names so basically on this part on this column you have the names of atoms here are numbers of atoms and they start from zero that's because of programming languages which are used here you have atomic types and here you have the desired partial charges. But how those atoms are connected, you will say. So when you scroll down, you find bones. So it tells you exactly which atoms from this column uh, are connected and in which order they were drawn. So this is very large molecule. Of course, you can try to look for smaller molecules. But let's say if you are lazy to do things by yourself, I meant if you are lazy to derive uh, the force field parameters for lipids, and you want to use it as initial guess. So here in the RTP files, they always have the extension RTP. You may find the information about partial atomic charges. Then what else you can find in this force field maps? So Avogadro cannot offer you the information about uh, the potential between bones or it cannot offer you information about um, non-bonded interactions, but if you want to see uh, the bonded interactions, for example, you basically open the FF-bonded ITP file, and there you also can get guesses for bond types, for bond potentials, then you can get also guesses for your angles, and even for dihedrals, as you see, where they are written or their atomic type. Non-bonded interactions can be found in the file FF non-bonded, basically. So as you see that you have here sigma, you have here epsilon, mass, and sometimes they put charge, but charge in general is not necessary to take for atomic type. 
because if you want to derive for a molecule you have basically consider that you have to consider the whole charge of the whole molecule so therefore uh, it's very useful software even if you cannot run it on your computer but you can use the database from it uh, for making your let's say initial guesses if you want to start from some kind of potential and then make them better at least you know uh, how they were if you want to choose another force field so here are many other force fields and they also have water models and all other potentials which you might need